And a long time ago, on the coast of California in the southern region, there was a little girl who lived in the Ahashman village named Shulayam. When she was in her mother's womb, her mom would like to rub her big belly and look up at the stars. Try it, rub your belly and look up at the stars. And she'd like to look at the stars through her kicha, which is a smoke hole in the top of the roof in her native house. And Moila, meaning moon, which was her mom's name, loved the stars. She loved the constellation. She could count the stars for hours. And when Shulayam was born and she got to see her baby for the first time, she was amazed. She saw tons of little spots that looked just like the night sky upon her face. No one had ever had spots like these in her village. You might call them freckles, but a long time ago, they were just spots. Shulayam was a very special girl. She was very kind-hearted. And when she would like to go out into the forest and she'd like to sing to the animals, all the animals would come up at her feet and the deer would nuzzle her shoulder. But the most important of all, the dragonfly would fly around her head and land right on her shoulder. When a dragonfly lands on your shoulder, that means you're good of heart. And Shulayam would sing, Ya ne ne ne, ya ne he na he na. And the dragonfly would land on her shoulder and all of the animals would come up and she'd feel pure and she'd feel enlightened. But one boy was very jealous of Shulayam. His name was Ashwood, which meant eagle. But he should have been coyote because he was very mischievous. Ashwood then went to the creek and found an abalone shell. He put water and mixed it with clay and using a big stick, stirred it up and proceeded to put spots on his face like Shulayam had. Ashwood then strut into the village and using his grandmother's clapper stick, proceeded to mock Shulayam. All the children laughed at Shulayam and her heart broken, she covered her face and cried and ran to the creek. When Shulayam came to the creek, she was crying and her grandmother asked her what had happened. Shulayam told her grandmother, why do I have these spots on my face? As Shulayam was crying, her grandmother cupped her cheeks and wiped her tears away. Grandmother said, why do you question the Creator? You were given these spots for a reason. For your loved ones, they bring much joy. Just as grandmother said those words, there were two leaves floating down the creek, and one had spots and one was plain. And grandmother scooped these leaves up and, and showed Shulayam the leaves. And she asked her, which one do you notice? And Shulayam looked at the leaves and she said, the spotted one. And grandmother said, when the caterpillar notices the spotted one and he eats the spotted leaf and he morphs into a beautiful butterfly. So grandmother picked up two rocks, one plain and one spotted. She took the spotted rock and she asked Shulayam, which one do you notice, the plain or the spotted? And Shulayam told her, the spotted one. And grandmother told Shulayam that the spotted rock is where the snake comes and sheds his skin. Grandmother finally told Shulayam that we should not question Creator, that Creator knows all, and He creates everything for a purpose. And after Shulayam heard these great words of wisdom, she knew that she was special too. And grandmother kissed one of her fingers and placed the kiss right on Shulayam's spot on her face. And she said, go now my child and sing and bring joy to all those around you. Just then, Shulayam heard a crackle by the oak tree. She looked up, it was Ashwood. She could see that he was crying and his face turned into a muddy mess. She took an abalone shell and filled it with water from the creek. She washed away the mud off of his face. In his mind, he thought, wow, she is everything everyone says about her. She's kind, she's forgiving. No wonder the dragonfly always lands on her. All of a sudden, a swarm of dragonflies came and surrounded them. He closed his eyes and just thought, I hope one would land on me. And what do you know, a baby dragonfly came and landed right on the tip of his nose. He opened his eyes and had a big smile on his face. The baby dragonfly flew away, but another beautiful creature came and landed on Shulayam's shoulder. She looked up with that wink in her eye and said, yes, Creator made me special and Ashwood special too. Now they were friends. Shulayam grabbed her clapper stick and they sang together. Ya 